Move over, minis. I'm all about making my favorite peanut butter cup giant. There's been a long-standing debate about what goes better with peanut butter, jelly or chocolate. Well, my vote is definitely with chocolate. I mean, it just makes sense. Pairing luxurious, sinfully delicious chocolate with creamy roasted peanut butter, it's like a match made in heaven. And if I'm gonna make my own Reese's peanut butter cups, you best believe we're supersizing them. Here's what you need. Dark chocolate, peanut butter, powdered sugar, and an eight inch round tart pan. This recipe is so easy. The first thing that you wanna do is take your tart pan and just line it with some plastic wrap on the bottom and on the top so that the chocolate doesn't go through this pan right here. All right, so I've already melted my candy melts in the microwave, and I'm gonna start by pouring a little bit of the chocolate into my tart pan. So you just wanna tilt the pan and rotate it slowly so that the chocolate coats all the way up the sides. Did you know that there's a substance in chocolate called phenylethylamine? It's the same stuff that your body produces when you're in love. Hmm, maybe I should make more of these for Mr. Amazing. Now we're just gonna pop this into the refrigerator for about five to 10 minutes or until the chocolate hardens. Now we're gonna repeat this process one more time so that we have a nice thick layer of chocolate. And then we're gonna save the rest of this for the top. This is really important because we don't want all that yummy peanut butter filling popping out the sides, do we? Now I'm just gonna pop this back into the refrigerator. So while that's setting up, we're gonna make our creamy peanut butter filling. Super simple, just creamy peanut butter, and then we're gonna slowly incorporate our powdered sugar. And the powdered sugar is what's gonna give us that crumbly, soft texture that you get from a Reese's peanut butter cup. My chocolate shell's nice and hard. Now I'm just gonna pour our creamy peanut butter filling into the shell. Oh my God, this is such a giant Reese's peanut butter cup. And then just using my spoon, I'm gonna make this nice and even. Now I'm not gonna fuss with getting the rest of this off the spoon because I'm gonna eat this later. I'm gonna pour the rest of the chocolate into the giant Reese's peanut butter cup. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. And then I'm just gonna use the back of the spoon to push all that chocolate to the edge. Give it a little shake to get rid of any air bubbles. And then this little baby, or her big baby, is going back in the fridge one last time. Oh my God, look how fantastic this is. Did you know that when Reese's Peanut Butter Cups were first introduced in 1928, they were called penny cups because they cost a penny? Well, I wonder how much this big mama would have cost back then. <laughs> I cannot wait to take a bite. Oh, come to mama. Mm. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Sorry Reese's, but this tastes way better than the original. I don't know if I wanna share. <laughs> Guys, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to Pop Sugar Food. And I would love to know if you're gonna take on the challenge to make a giant peanut butter cup. I'm Brandy and I'll see you next time. Bye. Phenylethylamine. How do you pronounce it? Phenylethylamine. Yes, did I get it? It's the same substance that your body creates when you're in love. Ooh.